everyone welcome back to my channel Nikki here with Montana Crochet Creations in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this really pretty corner to corner um, table runner I love the way that the stitches turned out on it I think it's a really beautiful design and I think that it can be customized in any color that you want and any size that you want. So um, let's get started with the supplies that we're gonna need for this tutorial. So we'll need a few things for this corner to corner table runner. So the first thing that you're going to want to use, especially if you're gonna use it on your table, is a nice cotton yarn. This is the Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, the cotton one, um, I believe it's in the color Sunflower. It's a really beautiful bright yellow color. I thought it would be great for summertime. Um, I used, my table runner was about hmm, not quite the entire length of our table. So I used one and a half skeins for um, our table runner, but depending on how long you wanna make yours, you probably might need up to three or four skeins. And then you're also going to need a yarn needle for weaving in those yarn tails. You should only have a few at the very end, but you'll still need that. We're going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, uh, and you'll need a pair of scissors for clipping those yarn tails at the very end. And any scissors that you have on hand will work. So go ahead and grab your supplies and let's get started on this corner to corner table right, let's runner. Let's get started on this crochet table runner here. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start with our slip knot here, and then we're going to chain six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna come into our fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and into our fourth chain, we're going to double crochet. So yarn over and insert your hook, and you're gonna draw up your loop, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and then yarn over and pull through two more again. And now we're just going to double crochet in these last remaining stitches here, these last two chains. So there's that one. And now we have this one. Oops. There we go. And that's the first beginning part of our corner to corner um, table runner. So now we are going to chain six, three, four, five, and six. We're going to, God, I cannot keep this on my hook. We're going to come into our fourth chain from our hook. So we've got one, two, three, into that fourth chain over here. And this is the most fiddly part with corner to corner. It's just working in those chains. And then we're gonna double crochet in these last two chains here. And then now what we're going to do is we're just gonna come over here to this first chain um, three right here. So the very beginning and we're going to come over, maybe if I can get my yarn on my hook, we're going to grab that, we're going to slip stitch, then we're going to chain three, and then now we're going to place three double crochet in this chain three space. So there's one, two, and now we have three. Grab a little more yarn. And then the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to continue working this and we're going to start making it bigger and bigger. So we're going to chain six again. So go ahead and chain six and then I'll meet you back and we'll get started on our third row for our corner to corner table. Right, so chain six, we're going to go to our fourth chain from the hook here. And we're going to double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in these last two stitches, these last two chains. Grab that last one right there. And then we're gonna come over to our chain space right here and we're just going to slip stitch. Just like that. Now we're going to chain three 
and then three double crochet in this chain three space right here. So there's one, two, and we have three. Now we're going to come over and we're gonna grab this last little chain three space here. That's our very last square for this row. We're going to slip stitch, we're gonna chain three, and then we're gonna place three double crochet. So there's one, two, and here is three. And then now we're just going to continue working these up and down until we get about to the length that we want um, our table runner to be, like the width. And then once we get to that point, then I'll show you how we're going to um, section off and kind of stop increasing on one side and um, start squaring off our table runner. So chain six. And then we're just gonna double crochet into that fourth chain from the hook right here into each one and we're gonna work all the way down. So continue working those. Um, I'm just gonna do a sample piece. So I'm gonna work this for a few more rows and then I'll come around and I'm gonna show you how to start squaring off the one side while you're still increasing the other side. So go ahead and continue working on that and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes. So like I said, I'm going to be doing just a little sample piece for this tutorial right here, but you're gonna continue until your um, corner to corner table runner is as wide as you want it to be. So what we're gonna do here is I'm going to teach you how to um, stop increasing on one side and then we'll continue to increase on the other. So we're going to literally come over here. I am going to slip stitch along the edge of the top piece here, just like that in those three stitches. Oops. There we go. Now we are going to chain three. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work in this chain three, this space in between these last two double crochets right here. And that's where we will continue to, um, now we'll start continuing to increase on this side. This side here will no longer be increased. So um, let's get this done and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So that was one, we've got two, and now we have three. Then you're going to come over to the top of this chain three in between these double crochets and you are going to slip stitch. Good Lord, if I can keep this on my hook. There we go. And we're gonna chain three. And then we're going to place our three double crochet in there. And now you can see what's happened is we're no longer extending one more out this way. Now we are working our way straight up the side here. So let's go ahead and work that. So we've got our chain three. We're gonna place three double crochet. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're going to come over to this space here, slip stitch. And then we're just going to repeat that with the chain three and three double crochet. So go ahead and continue working that when you come to the end here. So we're gonna just continue to increase up here at the top and then we'll work our way back down. When you come down to the end here, um, we're just going to slip stitch along the edge. So I'll meet you back when we get to that point and I'll walk you through it one more time. So I'm at my last square up here at the top and we're gonna come over and slip stitch and then what we're going to do, since we're not increasing anymore, remember we're going to come across here, and don't mind my fingernail, I lost one. Um, we're gonna come across, we're going to just flip our work around and we're going to grab these stitches and we're slip stitching all the way along the top edge here. Just like this. There we are. Now we can go into this chain three space and slip stitch. And then we'll chain three. And then now we're going to put three double crochet inside this chain three space right here. Maybe if I can get my 
stuff all figured out. Okay, so we're gonna place one, two, and three. And now we're going to go into that chain three space here and we're going to slip stitch and then we'll repeat that process of a chain three and then three double crochet and we're going to work our way all the way up here. Now since I'm doing a sample piece, when I get to this top part here, I'm going to show you how we're going to repeat the process of making it go across this way. So I'm going to stop increasing at the top here. But you continue to go for as long as you need to to make this corner to corner table runner as large as you need it to be for your table. So continue working and then when I get back to the end over here, I will meet you and then we will start working this way so that way you can see how um, to work it up for the ends when you're done with your corner to corner table runner. So I came to my last one, I slip stitched along the edge and I chained three. And now you can see that there's fewer squares right here. So as you continue working along this way and along this way, it makes your, gives you fewer and few square, fewer squares with each round or each row. So let's, so we've got one, two, and then our third double crochet. We're gonna come over, slip stitch, chain three. We're gonna place our three double crochet. And then we've got three. Now we're just going to slip stitch to the top of this chain three with that last square. We're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch along this edge We're going to slip stitch into that chain three. And then as you can see, this is our very last space right here that we need to fill in. So we're going to chain three. We're going to place three double crochet. So there's one, two, and we have three. And then now all we're going to do is come over to this chain three space and just slip stitch and then fasten off our work right there. And that's it, that's all that you need to do. And at that point, then you can go in and weave in your yarn tails and everything like that. So go ahead and get that all woven in and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes. I have my yarn tails woven in and then that's it. So as you can see, this corner to corner stitch is actually really simple to work up. And once you get the hang of it, you can basically make any sort of like a table runner. You can do dishcloths, um, coasters. You can even make really cute blankets. Um, I started a temperature blanket back in January and originally I was just doing rows back and forth, but I decided I wanted to rip it out and turn it into a corner to corner. And that's what I'm working on right now. And it looks really cute. I'll post pictures and things once I'm done with it at the end of the year. But um, if you guys want to see maybe how to change colors or if you want to learn how to read a quarter to quarter pattern, um, please comment below and I will do a tutorial for that. But other than that, um, thank you all, all for watching this video. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell because I try to post tutorials here weekly. I missed last week. We got a lot going on. We got a grandbaby coming literally tomorrow. So um, it's been a busy two weeks and it'll probably be another busy two weeks after that. So I love you guys all so very much and I will see you in my next tutorial.